Hey guys, it's Rob here. Today I'm going to show you how to blur backgrounds in paint.net. Hey guys, just to quickly interject, in today's video I do use a plugin for a feathering effect which gives the image a really nice finish. I do highly recommend you get this plugin pack if you plan on using paint.net often. It has lots of useful plugins in there. I use them all the time. However, it's not necessary to complete this tutorial, but I do highly recommend it. I hope you enjoy the video, guys. So we have this image here, and I'd like to blur the image around the woman so it looks like the background is blurred. So the first thing I'm going to do is come up to the left here to the toolbox, and we're going to select the lasso tool. And then with this, carefully draw around the person you'd like in the front of your image. This can take a little bit of practice, but it's not too hard. And also it doesn't have to be perfect. So now we have this, we're going to control C or right click copy, make a new layer. So come over to the layers, click new layer, make sure you have layer two selected. And now we're going to control paste, control V, and then we can enter to deselect. So now we have a separate layer with the uh, image of the woman only and not the background. So now if we click on the background layer, come up to effects, go to blurs and click Gaussian blur. Now adjust this to your liking. So you can see if we take it to zero, there's no blur. So adjust it how you like. Now we can see that there's still some bits uh, connected that we wouldn't like here. So it's okay to have a little outline because we'll do a quick fix for that. But come back to layer two, select the eraser tool just here, make the size a little bit larger or appropriate for your document. So I'm probably going to go for about 40. And then you can just go along the edge and tidy up a little bit. Like I said, you don't have to get everything. Again, this takes can take a little bit of practice. just like this, I think that's good. And then there's a little bit here that I'd like to get rid of. So you can hold control and you can scroll with your mouse to zoom. Just like this. Now to tidy up the edges, we're going to go to effects, object, feather object. And then we can adjust this and the edge gets feathered. So you can see it blends really nicely, just like that. So there you go. Here's a super easy and quick way to have a very effective blurring of the background. And I use this for thumbnails all the time and it's super useful. So I really hope you found this helpful and thank you so much for watching.